Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Access database video tutorial. Maximize Windows Media Player to full screen in order to see this video clearly. OK, in this video I'm going to talk about the concept of main and subforms. Now, if you have an invoice system, you might have a need to show the customers and any sales they've made. Well, this sort of thing can be done um, using a main and subform setup. So, I'm going to just look at my database. I'm using Access 2000 here, but this principle applies to any version of Access. And we can see here I've got a table called Customer and a table called Sales. So firstly I'm going to create a form based around Customer. So I'll do a new form. I'm going to use the wizard here. Um, set the Customer table. Click OK. And we'll take Customer ID, first name, last name, address 123, telephone. Click next. I'm going to select the column of you. And for now, I think I'll just take standard. I'm going to call this customers. Right, okay, I've called that customers. Click finish. And the wizard's created a very quick form for us to use. Uh, I can expand it out a bit. Now, this shows a customer record. Um, I'd like to see any sales that they've made, which I'd show just below here in this area. So in order to do this, we need to create another form. Again, I'm going to use the wizard for this. Form wizard. And we'll pick the table called sales. So I'll pick table sales there. I'll do OK. Um, here we'll take the order ID, customer ID order number, order date, product number and price. We'll click next and we're going to show this in a, in a data sheet view because we want to show all records. Okay, I'm going to click next I'm going to click standard again and we'll call this one form sales. OK, there's our quick sales form. It's in a data sheet view. I'm going to close this for now. So we can see now we've created customers and sales. So we'll go back to our customers form. We'll go into design view. Right click, form design. Just move it out of the way slightly. Expand it down. Move it across. Just wait until you get the double arrow that you can see there. I'm, I'm just holding the mouse down and pulling it across. So that basically increases our form size so that we'll have room to put a new one on. Okay, so now we have our customer's form. So we now want to grab our sales form. So go back to your database window, hold your mouse down on the sales form, and just drag it across and let go. Okay, I'm going to delete the label. And we'll just move it along. See, I've got the hand symbol here, so just move your mouse. Just click on the form here and look for a little finger symbol, which is there. Hold your mouse down and just drag it along. And you can do the same. Drag it down as well, just to show more records. And there's our fields that it's created. Okay. Now, if we double click, the subform in this area here will show the properties but what we actually need is just to click the top bit here top of the form just to make sure that the link child and link master fields are linking the correct um, record IDs in this case customer ID is the one we want links access a sense that both names are the same so it's made the link automatically and we run the form Okay, we just need to expand it a bit so that we can show the price, but we could drag some of these in. Again, just go up to the um, edge of the column there and hold your mouse down until you get the cross site symbol and just drag it to the left. We don't actually need to show the IDs. I'll just push it across slightly there. Price 
price column can be made smaller as well. So there we have it, there's our basic customer and our sales form. We can navigate through the records here and the customer changes and, and its sales record changes as well. Could put a quick button on to add a new record. Again we can use a wizard for that, so get your toolbox up, make sure the wizard is depressed here, select the command button, drop it on the form. Now we want to select record operations and add new record, click next. I'm just going to select the text here. This is the, the text that's going to show on the button that we're creating. Click next and just give the button a name. We'll just take the default for now, command 15, click finish. And there we have it, we have a quick button there for adding a record. I'll just move it up here. Right click the form, bring up the properties. We'll just change the background color quickly. So go to back color, do that again. Go to back color and click the little button to the side of it. Bring up a box here and then choose your color. We'll select this turquoise one. Now click on the form, as your back color's changed. Now if we run the form, looks slightly, slightly better. Um, We've also got our add button now, so we click that. It brings us to a new record, and we can just add in a new record here. So if I move back, go back to the record we were on, and you can see it saved it automatically. That's the record I just entered. <coughs> so that's just a quick overview of how to add a subform and a main form together. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Look forward to showing you the next one.